All right, so we've made it to the connect via social email campaign. And this uh, campaign, the thing that we want to focus on the most is driving our email subscribers to our social platforms so they'll like, comment, share, follow, and engage with our social media. Now, number one, the number one reason why this is important is anytime you have engagement and uh, followings, likes, and stuff on your social media, this is going to show those social platforms that you're relevant, that your brand is uh, pertinent to, to that industry, that niche, and uh, it's going to, number uh, most importantly, lower your advertising costs. Now, how does it lower your advertising costs? My belief is that the more relevant, the more uh, on track, the more people who engage, follow, like, comment, and share inside your social medias, uh, the more those platforms see that you are an authority and they want good experiences for their users. So your content, your ads are going to be shown and going to have a lower cost to be delivered. Now, how do I know this? I've tested this and I've seen this to be true. Um, I want you guys to understand that um, social media is uh, is is a is a long game. It's a there's a lot of moving parts. But uh, if you leverage your email subscribers, your active followers inside your email um, to engage over there, you can uh, sh build a strong tribe of individuals for your brand. And, uh, you know, it's going to make a, uh, a lot easier to sell products um, whenever they're out there driving your uh, brand awareness for you. So a few ways that I think that you could... Uh, integrate your email marketing with your social media. Number one, take your subscribers, upload them to your social networks, add, uh, run ads and, and share content to them um, and driving them to uh, your content. Uh, number two, uh, if you didn't know this, you can actually upload your subscribers into LinkedIn and you can build a professional relationship with them inside the LinkedIn uh, Ecom Secrets. This is one of the strategies that we share in there. Um, you'll be surprised that your subscribers in there see your business and you as a professional on LinkedIn. Um, they'll be more likely to buy, especially B2B and especially high ticket uh, products. Um, so I can also share how to share those, uh, upload those subscribers to your social uh, platforms. That'll be in a different section. Um, number two, Run targeting at retargeting ads on your Facebook and Twitter for people who click your email. So, only for people who uh, integrate or you know show interest in your emails, you can have automated retargeting ads running for them. So, your touch points can be automatic. Whereas they click an email, automatically they go into an audience, which then starts sending them a retargeting. So imagine you're on your phone, you see um, an email, you, you go into it, all of a sudden you click over to Facebook and you're starting to get retargeted from, from that brand or product. Um, this is, you know, makes you look like you're omnipresent and um, again, trying to drive sales. Uh, there's, you know, basic ways to do this. There's the Facebook pixel and the, the Google um, tracking. These are very easily done. Um, they're all inside uh, the um, sections inside Brand Academy. Uh, shows you how to do these things. Um, next, but not least, um, let the social networks send emails for you. What does this mean? It means indirect email marketing um, and uh, I'll give you a little idea I'm gonna I'm gonna look over here because I have to uh, t take my notes and in, in how I've packaged this when you subscribe to a LinkedIn group um, unless you consciously decide to unsubscribe from email notifications in LinkedIn um, you will start regularly getting emails from LinkedIn triggering activity inside that group let that sink in if you did not opt out of these emails and you join a group on LinkedIn, you're going to start getting email notifications for it. So use that um, to your benefit. Let those uh, social platforms do the email marketing for you. And uh, since LinkedIn is, is most likely tied to your primary email account, it's not some, some junk email, um, you, you're going to get those emails and um, you know, you're going to see those 
emails from those uh, social networks because you use your real email on the social networks. Um, but the keys to running a uh, or for this working is when you have your groups, not just LinkedIn, but Facebook and, and whatnot, um, run a good group. Um, and when people join, you're going to you're going to have the social networks actually sending emails on your behalf for that group. They want you to engage um, with that group because that keeps them on their platform. Next, um, automate your emails outreach to drive more social shares. So what's this mean? So the secret to getting um, influential people and in blogs to share your content is social proof. And what that means is um, when you publish new content, uh, you have to you know seed it with the, the shares before you can ask influential people or groups um, of people to share it for you. But if you write something awesome, uh, you're going to notice that people will share it um, themselves without having to ask. So here's where the email marketing comes in when I talk about um, automation, uh, email outreach through social shares. Let me explain this real quick. Um, here's a story. We use email marketing to get uh, the sharing, uh, you know, get the sharing, social sharing started. What we do is we'll create the content, we'll send it to our email subscribers, and we'll ask them to actually share. Um, what it'll be is it'll be a social content piece or a social share image inside the email. We'll ask them, hey, share this on social. It'll be a one-click share, right? So once the post starts getting the shares going via us driving it from our email, um, we start reaching out to, to bigger sites, bigger authority sites, influencers. And um, you, what, that, what happens is those people will see that our content has engagement and shares. They'll see that this thing, this article or this, this post is, is driving uh, engagement and they'll want to jump in on that action. Okay, Now you're leveraging influencers and other people to do email marketing um, and, and send emails for you. right? Um, there's a there's a ton of platforms you can do this through. Sendbloom um, helps you automate emails from your personal Gmail account. So this can be how you can reach out to influencers and and get them to do. Uh, this method alone has driven our e-commerce brand um, hundreds of thousands of new email subscribers. Um, next on the list is collect uh, email addresses on all of your social medias. So how do you do this? Create a um, content piece that you share where when someone wants to download it, they actually opt in via email to get it. Basic marketing. But make it free to where all they have to do is give you their email to do it. Um, just get them on your newsletter. Uh, that's a great way to um, leverage social media to get email marketing and tie them together. Um, and then, uh, if you, if you don't already do this, go to your page on Facebook and change your call to action on your page, um, to email, email you. And what happens is people will click and email you, try that out and see if that works for your brand and your business. Instead of it being click here, buy now and send them to your website, maybe send them to an opt-in, a free article, a free PDF, a case study, or just send you an email, email us, um, uh, change that call to action and see what works best for your brand. Next, um, create a create a Facebook group or, or a group like I mentioned. Always a great thing to do uh, for your social media and um, drive your social engagers, your biggest fans. Um, allow them to push you into new people and new opportunities. Um, that's how you leverage social media, social sharing with your email marketing um, and create success for your brand. Now. Don't let this overwhelm you. Use the automation and the triggered email stuff to do these type of things for you. Take your time and set it up to begin with and um, make your edits once, twice a month, something like that. Don't think that your email marketing uh, has to be you physically sitting down every day and driving that thing. Let automation work for you. See you guys.